Okay guys, so both answers might seem correct, but let's break it down and really see what's going on here because this simple looking math problem, yeah, it's causing full blown arguments. The equation is six plus six plus six times six times zero. Some people say the answer is zero. Others confidently say it's 12 and both sides are ready to fight over it so who's actually right or better yet why is this such a confusing problem in the first place at first glance most people just go from left to right this is six plus six is 12 plus six is 18 times six is 108 then times zero is zero not right not wrong well because in math order matters we're supposed to we're supposed to follow order of operations e e m the a s which stands for pemdas or i think there's another one known as the i d M A S depending from where you're from which stands for parentheses exponents multiplication division from left to right addition and subtraction from left to right so what is the correct way to to solve this problem so the correct way to do this you do multiplication before addition so we have two multiplications here so if we times 6 times 6 that is 36 times 0 that will be 0 now then it's just 6 plus 6 which will be equal to 12 so mathematically speaking, the answer is 12. Not because someone feels it should be, but because that's the rules of math. But let's be fair. Why do people still get zero? It's not because they're bad at math. It's usually because they're rushing or relying on mental shortcuts. Most of us are used to going from left to right in everything we do, reading, thinking, even doing basic math. So when we see a line of numbers, we naturally start from left, but that's where math tricks you. It doesn't always go in the order you think it does. Let's make it real. Imagine you're buying items you buy two things for $6 each. So that's $12. Then someone says, oh, wait, I'll give you six items, but they're all free. So that's six times six times zero equals zero dollars add that to your twelve dollars and you still just spent twelve dollars see how that plays out in real life now here's where it gets fun what if someone added parentheses like this six plus six plus six close parenthesis times six times zero now the story changes that's six plus six twelve plus six is eighteen times six times zero then six eighteen times six is one hundred and eight times zero which is zero 
and suddenly the answer really is zero. But that's not the original equation. The original equation didn't have any parentheses telling us to group things that way. The big takeaway, always respect order of operations. That's the difference between math that works and math that breaks down. When people argue over the answer, they're really arguing over how they solved it, not the math itself. And if you don't follow the rules, we'll always end up with different answers. These kinds of problems cause confusion because they feel simple until they're not. It's not because the numbers, it's about how we think about numbers. It reveals how people learn math, how they remember rules, and sometimes how much they trust their gut over logics. So yeah, while both answers might seem correct to different people, there's only one right answer here. 12. Not because I said so, but because Matt said so. Still think it's zero? Drop your reasoning in the comments. Let's debate it, but keep it friendly.